Hey everybody! <laughs> hey, Welcome everybody. to the... <laughs> Look who's here, it's Jackie! Hi everybody! <laughs> We're heading to the airport to go to Hawaii. Woo! Woo. My butt warmer's on. My I'm butt already warmer's... uncomfortable. <laughs> My butt warmer's on too. What is happening? We gotta get this AC cranking in here. <laughs> Buddy Jackie's come to the airport with us because her flight's leaving shortly after ours is in like four hours, so. We're gonna hang Shortly. out. Shortly. <laughs> She's gotta wait for four hours, poor girl. Four short hours in the Anchorage four Airport. Four short hours. We actually got a direct flight to Honolulu, which in Anchorage, like, you don't really get direct flights. So we're pretty happy about that. Yeah, it's gonna be slick. Um, also, we got first class too, because they were running a bunch of specials. So we're gonna be first class all the way throughout all of our flights, even our little hopper over to Kona. <laughs> so we're going to Alani for four days, and then we're going to the Big Island for four days, which is gonna be really fun. So really excited to take you guys along. So let's go to Hawaii. <gasps> the last few flights were dead. This is a dead airport. We got through security in less than a minute. Jesse set off the metal detector. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it was definitely that. <laughs> we were trying to figure it out, but we couldn't figure it out. There's nothing. I made it through the scanner. I don't know. I mean, he does have a lot of screws in his body because he's had a lot of surgeries, but... Um, we have TSA Pre, so he went through the metal detector, he set it off, then he had to go through the regular x-ray scanner, they didn't find anything, so we're waiting for Jackie. Jackie's getting ready to go to Massachusetts, so she's going to hang out with us. We're probably going to go get some drinks so we can take the masks off and kind of relax and have some drinks and chit-chat, so we'll take you to, I think it's called Silver Gulch Brewing Company from Fairbanks, so we'll go there and have some relaxation time. If we have time before a flight, we like to stop at Silver Gulch. Jackie... Jesse and myself decided to get some appetizers and some beers. We're dining on scotch eggs, which is an egg wrapped in some kind of meat with a sauce. Fried pickles, which are a pickle which is fried in some kind of sauce. And loaded baked potato skins, which is a loaded baked potato and some kind of sauce. Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling Jesse's over here. We have boxed water. It's like a milk carton. How fun is that? Um, we had a little bit of trouble with um, our health pre-check. I guess that Alaska Airlines wasn't familiar with Clear and now the state of Hawaii is using Clear. But we eventually were able to get our little wristbands that get us straight through because we did all of the pre-travel requirements like uploading our vaccination card and taking our travel questionnaire and those sorts of things. So we're all good. So when we get to Honolulu, we'll be able to like walk right through their security and we don't have to stop and verify everything, which will be kind of nice. But we did bring our vaccination cards and we were um, told that we were probably going to have to show them if the clear pass didn't work. So whatever you do, bring back up documentation just in case because you don't want to be caught without having that. So we're getting ready for a six hour and 20 minute flight. Oh yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm glad we made it on the plane. Yeah, me too. And it's so rare that we get just one flight. So it's really exciting that we just get one leg. I love it. one leg flight. It's the best thing. <laughs> it is. Um, we probably have taken maybe 
one one leg flight in like 10 years. The pilot just announced five hours and 20 minutes. So we have an hour cut off our flight already because of a tailwind. So woo, we get to Hawaii an hour early. time look at this mural <laughs> oh man it doesn't feel like we're even here really it's weird it's so weird it's unreal feeling. we're not used to not having a layover so this is really fun great they so the tailwind was serious business they got us here in five hours flat which was really really nice and also <laughs> those poor pilots oh we're outside oh this is interesting the pilots, um, when they were coming in, the plane was going, ooh, ooh, ooh. so they had a pretty interesting landing to make. But we're headed to baggage claim, and we're gonna go to Hawaii. So pretty, look at this. So it's so funny. We've been outside three times, and we, <laughs> so I've been to Oahu, but it's been like nine years. I don't remember hardly any of this, so this is all kind of feeling new to me. But we are at baggage claim 19, and then all we have to do is grab our baggage and get our rental car. We got a Chevy Impala. You know you're in Hawaii. Look how beautiful their license tags are here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Shug, what about an Impala? Hey! Yeah, between, sitting on the 20s. Sitting on the 20s. It's got leather. 40 bucks a day. We'll take it. Hey, we're the following day. Aloha, I guess I should say. Uh, we're in Hawaii. This is our view from our room. It's so beautiful. But <laughs> we're in forced quarantine. So, um, Jesse and I both are vaccinated. We both have uploaded all of the information and have been deemed exempt from quarantine. We got to the hotel late last night. We check in and we log into our Safe Travels account, which is the Hawaii version of like their COVID 19 screenings. So, Mine says screened and exempt from quarantine. Jesse says not screened and exempt from quarantine. And so apparently what this means is they're claiming that he never checked in to, to the airport, which doesn't make sense because we had to get our, we had wristbands on yesterday that said that we had been cleared, that our safe travels accounts have been scanned. And so basically, we can't leave the room until the state of Hawaii opens so we can call them and get this changed. So 
the state of Hawaii doesn't open until 10 a.m. So we are stuck in our room until at least 10 o'clock when we can make that call. Um, I'm not very happy right now, just to be honest. Um, they basically gave me this wristband. This is the Alani wristband because I was considered like safe to be here. Um, even though I have the same vaccination status and same information as Jesse, can't leave the room. Like that's the whole thing is like, he can't leave the room. So what, I mean, what kind of vacation are we going to have if he can't leave a room? So if we don't get this fixed, Jesse's like, let's just go home. So I'm hoping at 10 AM we can get everything fixed because I mean, we got scanned at the same time. We have the same wristbands. We have the same vaccination. We have the same information uploaded to their website. We've been deemed exempt. Like this just flat out doesn't make sense. So anyway, <laughs> that's why I'm up at 7 a.m. on my vacation because I'm so anxious that I can't sleep. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a better Friday than I am. But I mean, I guess technically this is my I'm not complaining. I'm just really disappointed that this happened. So fingers crossed that we can get this figured out in the next few hours. One hour later. Everybody, first of all, thank you all so much. So many of you reached out. Um, Elisa has been helping me. So thank you, Elisa, for sending me phone numbers and suggestions. So there's so many of you. Um, anyway, that, that helped. So thank you very much for trying to help us have a better experience than what we had this morning. So um, I decided I'm just going to go down and talk to a manager. I'm just going to try. So she basically said, it's out of my hands. Like, I don't know what to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all your information. I'm going to look into this and figure this out. She called me about 10 minutes later. She's like, can you come down to the lobby? I need to talk to you. So I came down. And what she said was, she's like, everything, your information matches your husband's exactly. You guys were on the same flight. Everything was, you know, exactly how it should be. You guys didn't do anything wrong. There's just been a glitch in the state of Hawaii system. We're going to make this right. So she walked me back to my room and got Jesse a wristband. Room. She verified Jesse's vaccination card and then also verified his identification. Was like, yep, we're good to go. Gave him his wristband gave him his room key we just were able to leave the room for the first time we went downstairs we got some breakfast jesse got a salmon a lox breakfast and i got an acai bowl which is so yummy so we're just deciding we're like fully resetting like okay this is where the vacation is starting we're gonna pretend like the last 15 hours didn't happen we're gonna unpack we're gonna do a little room tour for the vlog kind of get situated we're gonna call the state of hawaii and get everything sorted because they do open at 10 o'clock which we have about another like 25 minutes before that happens and then lots of fun Hawaii content will hopefully be coming your way I mean maybe some bathing suits some things you didn't ask for but we're all gonna go on this journey together <laughs> and I'm so excited that it actually gets to happen because it was a little bit questionable there for a minute so thank you for bearing with me this morning thank you guys for being awesome and thank you to the manager at Alani for making this happen and uh yeah so all right guys Let's let's do some adventuring or something. Aloha. Mahalo. Many, many minutes later. Got a hold of safe travels. Jesse was on hold for 30 minutes. Then they're like, well, we're gonna have to give you a call back. So they just called back and this is what they said. They said that the airlines did not properly scan his QR code. Whatever you do. If you are coming here, make sure that they scan it properly. The state of Hawaii completely got it covered. They changed his status from screened no to screened yes. He's now free to travel about any of the islands and also to fly. So I'm just so thankful that it's over with. Um, that was a complete mess. So I always say like, just please learn from my mistakes. We tried, you know, and this is the funny thing is that we really did prepare super hard for this trip. And this was just a really odd happenstance that happened. Welcome to our deluxe garden view room. Here's Jesse frantically cleaning the room. Thanks, hon. You do that, I'll, I'll show them this art. Jesse's making the bed. <laughs> so when you walk in, you've got this big closet, which is really nice. We are all moved in. So you're gonna see like our stuff in the place of, where nothing should have been, I guess, before the room tour. 
but they actually gave us a ton of hangers, which I'm really happy about. Usually I have to request extra hangers. We have our two pieces of luggage. They do have a luggage rack back there. And then the safe is pretty spacious. I am not a big fan of these safes that are like attached to the wall because it's really hard to fit in all of our electronics. So I'm not super happy with the safe, but that's okay. And then we have a kitchenette because this is a deluxe room. And so look at how giant this fridge is. We have a big fridge, which is really awesome. And it also has a freezer box, which is great because a lot of the rooms like in Disney don't have freezers. And so I like that element. And then we have a full microwave. We have a full coffee maker. And then they did give us our Olani buttons. So we have our first visit buttons and also our 13 year anniversary button, which is really fun. And then they did supply us with lots, this is stuff that we brought with us, but they did supply us with lots of like little uh, silverware packets and lots of cups for like coffee to go, plates and cups, wine glasses, a little ice box. And then also we do have behind all this stuff, some Joffrey's coffee, which is really fun. They did provide us some Dawn dish soap and a scrubby pad and a towel, which is great. So if we want to do some dishes, we can. And they also did supply us with a couple of uh, chopsticks as well, which is kind of fun. And then we're going to go into the bathroom. A little bit messy. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so this is a pretty standard bathroom. It does have really beautiful uh, fixtures though. Like look at these copper fixtures. It's got a lot of cubby holes, which is really nice. Jesse just said it's got a three position rain shower, which is awesome. Look at this shower. Um, I also love that it has like the removable nozzle. Love that. Really nice like bathtub. The shower curtain is really pretty. It's like a tribal type of pattern. And then it's got, oh, look at the little waves. I didn't even notice that. They have um, H2O products here, which is really awesome. So they have an Alani bath soap. They've got different body lotions. They've got body wash and shampoo and conditioner. Those are super cute. So I think I'm gonna be taking some of those home with me. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. On this side, this is where the bathroom is. So it does have, or the toilet is. It does have its own separate door, which I find to be really nice. So one person can be getting ready, one person can be pooping. And then here is our toilet. We've got some fishies on the wall, pretty basic in here, which is just fine. And then there is a main door right when you come out as well. So if you want the whole bathroom to yourself, you do have that option, which is nice. Also, can we appreciate how pretty this carpet is? It's a little bit busy, but I think it's like so gorgeous. Okay, full length mirror on this side, which is really nice. Off to this side, we have a Jessie in the room. <laughs> and then we have our bed. It's a queen size bed. We're not used to queen size beds. Um, we're king size bed people. So we were pretty close last night. Didn't love it, no offense. I just like my room when I sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I like to starfish. Um, and then underneath the bed, there's like a shallow uh, cubby hole. So this actually only goes to like half of the bed, which is kind of interesting. So you can only fit two cases down there. That's why we're utilizing the closet for some of our cases. So keep that in mind if you're coming with a lot of people or if you're coming with four people, it would be very difficult to find a room or places for your luggage in this room. Two big lamps, which is awesome. Look at the TV screen. So, um, E como my K Ohana, Cherry and Young. So my last name is Cherry, Jesse's last name is Young. And so that is really exciting that they put that on there. I was really excited to see that because I've never had that before. So that was really fun. Humongous dresser. Again, we have really unpacked, so there's stuff everywhere. And then this is a sofa sleeper. So it does come out, you can, um, I believe you can turn it into, I think it's a queen size bed or it's a full size bed. I don't remember. I'll put it down here below for you guys. I <laughs> made my shoe garage right here, but they do have a like little alarm clock that does have USB ports. There's not a ton of outlets in this room, so you may need to bring a power strip if you have a lot of electronics. And then before I show you the outside, cause it's so pretty, 
we have this side, which is a little seating area right by the te television area. And we have the man himself, Mickey Mouse. And he's playing the ukulele and he is so cute. And they do have an outlet with two USBs, which is awesome and a mirror. And then here is the view of our room. So we'll just pop out here and take a peek. This is a really nice spacious patio. It's Jesse again. Are you enjoying your patio? I am. Or wait, your lanai? My lanai. Your lanai. Oh, okay. Well, if you know the Hawaiian term for it, let us know. These chairs are super comfortable. We have two of these chairs and also a table in the center. And then here is our view. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is a golf course right over here. And these are houses. So <laughs> I was sitting out here with Jesse earlier and I'm like, man, we got to check out how much these houses are. They are like the, the cheapest one I found was $913,000. Three bedroom, two bath. 1,427 square feet. What? Oh my gosh, insanity. Um, but it's so, it's such a lovely temperature. Hawaii has like the best weather ever. So it's like right in the like mid seventies right now. And then these do have like these little partitions on each side. So we do have neighbors on both sides of us. And then here's the other one. And then I'm gonna walk out here and show you a little bit more because there's a lot more. So, um, there's the parking structure here, but I have seen a character's meet down in this little courtyard area. So I'm hoping that eventually we'll be able to see that, which would be really cool. The palm trees are so pretty. And here is, let me get over to this side so I can show you some of the other side of the resort. So here's the other side of the resort. Oh, how cool is this place, guys? So sunny and beautiful. This is our humble abode and where we're gonna be staying for the next four days. And wow, what a very odd <laughs> vlog and experience this whole thing was. Um, you know, this just goes to show you that not everything, no matter how much you prepare, no matter how much you do to get ready for a trip, there's always something that could possibly happen. And this vlog was an exact example of that, this, this experience that we went through. Although uh, looking back at it, you know, we really did everything we needed to do. We followed the state of Hawaii's directions. We followed our uh, airline's directions. We, we did all the pre-screening, all of the measures that we were supposed to do. I mean, everything that was laid out for us, we did. Uh, but unfortunately, it was a fluke failure on Alaska Airlines' part. And that's, it is, it's just how the cookie crumbled with this situation. But I will say, kind of looking back and analyzing this situation, the only thing that could have really prevented this from actually happening is we would do a re-check-in at the Honolulu airport. So what we could have done was we could have got off the plane and then re-verified that they had all of our information, which after this experience, it definitely is something that I will do if we travel there again when these restrictions are still in place which is currently these restrictions are still in place, by the way. So uh, this is definitely something that I would consider if I was coming here because forced quarantine was awful. They wouldn't give Jesse a room key. They wouldn't allow him out of the room. It was, it was like a little prison. It was very, very strange. But anyway, I understand that they were following protocol and doing what they were supposed to do. It's just a, such a strange, strange situation that we are in. But regardless, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I would love to know if you have ever experienced something weird like this while traveling. Uh, it was definitely a very interesting interesting time. We'll just say that. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below because lots more fun Alani content is coming your way, not just weird quarantine moments. And I cannot wait to share them with you. So thank you so much for being here, guys. And I will see you in the next one. TTFN. Bye. Mm -hmm.